The Nama Students Federation has reiterated its demand on repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act in the entire Naga homeland during its third federal assembly today at Hotel Agasya in Dimapura. During the assembly, which was attended by its federating units, subordinate bodies and senior leaders, the federation discussed on various agendas including Armed Forces Special Powers Act, Nagaland Staff Selection Board and regarding the traditional attire to be worn in schools and colleges at least once in a week. Since 2019, Naga Students Federation has been pushing to the government of the day to constitute Nagaland State Staff Selection Board to recruit grade three posts, particularly in the state of Nagaland. Ever since we put up the issue to the government, the appointment to the grade three has been freezed. While congratulating the government of the day for constituting the Nagaland Staff Stacks Selection Board, we are also dismayed that till today it's almost three years have lapses where government of the day is unable to fully make operational Nagaland State Staff Selection Board. And for which, once again, we on behalf of the students' community would like to call upon to the government of the day to ensure that NSSB is made possible and the recruitment be made possible. So, and to ensure that advertise, advertisement is made under Nagaland State Staff Selection Board. The reason why Naga Students Federation really liked NSSB to make operational is to ensure that meritocracy, fairness in any manner in the process of examination should be there in the process of recruitment. Today, we had a resolution where we appeal to the government of the day to ensure that NSSB is made operational so that recruitment takes place as early as possible. Considering the unemployment opportunities, employment opportunities in the state of, particularly in the state of Nagaland, many youths are frustrated because recruitment is not true proper channel. And the purpose of NSSB, introduction of NSSB, is to ensure that backdoor appointment is to do away, to do away with backdoor appointment, and examination is conducted through fair means. Just day before yesterday, we met NSSB secretary, and he has assured Naga Students Federation that advertisement will come out within this month time. But what we want to appeal to the government of the day is that that should not be only verbal, but we want to ensure that NSSB is materialized. We also would like to warn the government that if this is not constituted and made operational at the earliest, students' communities will resort to any protest, democratic protest, very soon. The other area of concern which Naga Students Federation today resolved is to protect the cultural identity of the Nagas and its indigenous people inhabiting in the Naga homeland. We want to appeal to all the educational institutions under Naga homeland that in a week, a day, should be spared for the students to wear any Naga traditional attire. This resolution is not imposed to all the institutions, but we want to appeal to all the educational institutions operating in Naga homeland to give a space, a day space in a week to ensure that students wear a traditional attire in their formal classes. This includes, this, it is inclusive of colleges, higher secondaries, and high schools. And we also suggest the educational institution, if compulsorily class five and above, can wear the traditional attire 
then we will really appreciate the students community, will really appreciate the educational institutions. Taking from President, uh, with regard to NSSB, the Navas Business Federation sincerely appreciates the government of the day for having uh, given extended two years with, uh, with regard to age limit. This was a demand of the Federation. The demand of the Federation was to ensure that for as long as NSSB is called, the uh, minimum, minimum, uh, maximum age of entry to service has been extended and the government of the day have extended it by two years. Our fight will be to ensure that it is extended for as long as uh, NSSB is delayed. So uh, for now two years we, we appreciate the government of the day for the step we've taken but since the president has rightly stated it has been for three years now, almost three years now. So our next fight will be to ensure that the government extend the maximum age to three years. Uh, the one major issue that we discussed today was AFSPA, repeal of AFSPA from Nava, entire Nava uh, The Nava Students Federation in our second federal assembly held in Kohima took a resolution containing three charters. I'll read them out for you. First, no individual or groups across Naga homeland shall accept any form of humanitarian aid from Indian armed or paramilitary forces. Second, no individual or groups shall be allowed to invite Indian armed and par paramilitary forces personnel to any event being organized in the Naga homeland. Neither shall they, shall they partake in any official event of such forces. Third, as a mark of protest, black Black flag shall be hoisted across the Naga homeland. The federating units and subordinate bodies of the Federation shall be responsible for the effective implementation of this resolution. In this third federal assembly, the House unanimously re endorsed this uh, resolution that was taken on the 12th of March. And uh, we shall continue to ensure that uh, the same is being upheld across the Naga homeland. We, we also appeal to the government of India that justice be delivered to those, to those victim family who was massacred on 4th of December. Naga people are very emotional people. When issues come, when army personnel slaughtered, killed, our family members raped our mothers and sisters, we shout and protest. We feel that the issue is dying away. But Naga Students Federation will ensure that until and unless justice is delivered to the victim family, Naga Students Federation will continue to fight for justice. To, to ensure that NSSB is materialized and made operational, Naga Students Federation has made the exercise by uh, filing an RTI in all the departments uh, 35 days back. And to our dismay, we were informed by some departments that they have already sent the requisition to the, to the concerned board. Whereas we were informed by the board members and the secretary that many departments are not complying to the order made by the board. And for which we want to demand to all those departments who are failing to submit the vacant post to the board, who are failing to send the requisite post to the board, to, to send as early as possible so that that cannot be the stumbling block for NSSB to make operational and examination to conduct.